A time of Lexio Divina for the discerning heart. Thursday of the sixth week in ordinary time. As you begin, take a deep breath and exhale slowly. For the next few moments, surrender all the cares and concerns of this day to the Lord. Say slowly from your heart, Jesus, I trust in you. You take over. Become aware that he is with you, looking upon you with love wanting to be heard deep within your heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verses 27 through 33. Jesus and his disciples left for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he put this question to his disciples, Who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, they said, others, Elijah, others again, one of the prophets. But you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter spoke up to him and said, You are the Christ. And he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone about him as he began to teach them that the Son of Man was destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and after three days rise again. And he said all this quite openly. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. But, turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, Get behind me, Satan! because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. What word made this passage come alive for you? What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, give the Lord an opportunity to speak to you. Jesus and his disciples left for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, they said. Others, Elijah. Others again, one of the prophets. But you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter spoke up and said to him, You are the Christ. And he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man was destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and to be put to death, and after three days to rise again. And he said, all this quite openly. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. But, turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. What 
What did your heart feel as you listened? What did you sense the Lord saying to you? Once more, through him, with him, and in him, listen to the word. Jesus and his disciples left for the villages round Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he put this question to his disciples, Who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, they said, others, Elijah, others again, one of the prophets. But you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter spoke up to him and said, you are the Christ. And he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone about him. As he began to teach them that the Son of Man was destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and after three days rise again, and he said all this quite openly. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. But, turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, Get behind me, Satan because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. What touched your heart in this time of prayer? What did your heart feel as you prayed? What do you hope to carry with you from this time with the Lord? Let us now close with the prayer to the Father that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. 